Welcome to Dorman Products Ignition Lock Cylinder Installation Video. Before you begin, this installation is considered medium difficulty by our technicians. Some car knowledge is needed to complete this repair. This repair should take approximately one to one and a half hours to complete. Warning, this vehicle uses a pass key theft system. Be sure to take the old key and new key that came with this lock cylinder to the parts store. You'll need to purchase a key with a correct pellet resistor chip that matches the old key and have the newly purchased key cut to match the key that came with the new lock cylinder. Begin the installation by disconnecting the battery. Next, go to the base of the steering column to locate where the pass key sensor connector is plugged in and disconnect it. Note, some makes and models may vary with the location of the wire connection. Go back to the steering wheel and release the airbag assembly by locating and removing four screws located on the back of the steering wheel using a T30 Torx bit. Next, gently remove the airbag and disconnect all wires. The airbag wire is equipped with a locking release tab. Be sure to keep the airbag in a safe place away from potential static electricity to prevent an accidental discharge. Remove the steering wheel retainer nut. Then, use a steering wheel puller kit to remove the steering wheel from the column. The alignment tab is at the top of the clock spring. Remove the snap ring with snapping pliers. Next, remove the clock spring. After that, remove the washer. Use a compressor tool to depress the lock plate, exposing the C-clip. Next, using two 90-degree picks, work the C-clip off the locking plate. Remove compression tool from lock plate. Then remove the seat clip and lift the lock plate and horn ring from the column, making sure to keep the lock plate and horn ring together. Next, remove the multifunction switch and hazard switch and remove from column. There are several screws that will need to be removed. Remove the turn signal switch by removing three screws with a T20 Torx bit. Using a 90-degree pick, gently pry back and forth on the key buzzer switch to remove it. Next, remove the lock cylinder retainer bolt with a T20 Torx bit. After that, remove the lock cylinder wire retainer tab. Go back to the base of the steering column and securely tape a durable piece of scrap wire or thread about three feet long to the disconnected wire. Pull the lock cylinder from the housing and gently pull the wire through the steering column until you reach the scrap wire. The scrap wire should extend through the ignition location, but do not pull the scrap wire all the way through the column. If you have difficulty pulling the wires through, you may need to remove the panel and access plate covering the wires. If you have a tilt column, lower it until it's straight to make pulling the wires easier. Cut the scrap wire from the old wires and discard the old cylinder.
Tape the wires from the new lock cylinder to the scrap wire and pull back down through the column. Finally, repeat these steps in reverse order for installation.